This is the a meat grinder sausage maker from Flavor Kit. It can be attached to a KitchenAid, but KitchenAid does not sponsor this. Just this so was know. sent to us for review. It was sent to us for review. Yep. Let me tell you what all the parts are. Um, this is called the attachment power shaft. And then we have our grinding cutter blades right here. You have two, so that's handy if one gets dull. Um, you have our, your grinding plates. You see they have three different sizes. You have the grinding body, which I believe is this. And then um, you have the food tray that you can put the meat onto and push it down in. And then the food pusher pushes it down in. And then uh, you have these things are for when you're making the sausage, which uh, is after you. So you want to grind the meat first and then you may use the sausage stuff. So I'll show you how it attaches. You'll see that there's a little notch here, and your bolt is going to fit right in there. It goes pretty tight, and you'll know it's good because it'll move the, your whole KitchenAid with it, right? You don't want it to be shaking around. Okay, so then you're going to take this part, and oh, see, it has a square part that that's what's going to lock into place inside your KitchenAid. See how it locks into place. Then you're going to put your blade, and it's important. Notice that one side is smooth, and one side has the sharp blades, and you want the sharp blades facing out towards you. So you're going to get that and get it right onto that little square. And then you're going to choose which blade, which size you want. See how it locks into these little spots on the end, and then that's going to be held into place by this last part. You just have to hold it just right while <laughs> you screw it in place. Just a minute, let me get that readjusted. Okay, it's a little tricky. Okay. All right, so there you go. This part would go up here. They say to cut the meat into smaller pieces. You don't want to be putting like huge chunks down there. I'm guessing it gets stuck more often. And you don't want to use your fingers, obviously, because then your fingers are going to turn into sausage and nobody wants that. And then you want to use this instead, right? And that will just keep pushing the meat down. And when you're making, so you can use this for just grinding meat if you wanted to make hamburger or you can then grind it and then turn it into sausage. And they say to grind it first, let it sit in the fridge um, for the water and juices to run out, get rid of that, and then it's perfect for then using these awesome tools to turn it into sausage. It's a really cool machine, very heavy duty, and if you wanna make sausage and grind meat, I think you are going to love it.